Breaking news, Colorado shooting suspect James Holmes in court today. Uh, a judge hearing all the charges, what we gather are 142 counts, including first-degree murder. That's what he's facing. Let's go to Ed Lavendero, who's, who's in that courtroom in Colorado. Ed, did you get a look, by the way, did you get a look at James Holmes? Did he have that same hair and that same look on his face? You know, the, the hair was... Uh much more matted down. You know, if you remember the last time, it seemed you know very bushy, very disheveled. This was like it seemed like he had attempted to to smooth it down or style it in, in, in some sort of way. It definitely had that strange, odd orange, red, reddish color. So uh, that that was still the same. But he appeared you know much more lucid. Lucid. Remember last time, he just simply appeared kind of out of it and just getting completely uh, spaced out. If you if, if you ask me, this time he appeared uh, much more lucid, aware. But having said that, he still had at times these very odd kind of ma mannerisms. Where he was looking around and then his eyes would would open widely um, you know so there was still a, a, a little bit of that um, and it, you know he didn't have much of a reaction no reaction at all as the judge announced that he had been uh, 142 criminal counts had been filed against him including 24 first degree murder charges 116 attempted murder charges one count felony count of possessing explosive devices and one count of what is called a sentence enhancer because of the violence in this case so 142 criminal counts and of course he faces the death penalty in a wide range of punishment in, in many different ways that uh, prosecutors can uh, you know can go down here in the coming months as this case goes to trial so uh, obviously the, the, the severity of the, of the charges are very clear today as he now faces 142 criminal counts and that could also change I anticipate that uh, prosecutors might say that you know they'd be open to filing more counts if necessary but this is was was leveled at him here in the, in the first go-round okay Mike Ed, can you explain a little bit more? 24 first degree murder charges right. when it's 12 dead? Yeah, we're trying to get a little bit. I, I'm not a lawyer, Mike, so I'm trying to get a little bit uh, uh, better clarification as to why 24 uh, counts of. of uh, first degree murder. There are 12 people who died, so this is clearly uh, twice as many murder counts as people who, who died in this. There's there's a, a good legal explanation. I raced out of the courtroom uh, to get down here as quickly as possible to be able to report that news. So as soon as we can clarify that and get you an, an accurate, uh, you know, confident uh, legal explanation for that, I'm you know I'm sure it's something we, we can we Got can it. dig up pretty quickly. No, un absolutely understood. Just that number didn't jive. So I'm sure our viewers had that same question. We'll get them the answer soon. So any victims, family members in the courtroom any other uh, anything else strike you there in court Ed yeah, I found that really interesting. There were several uh, survivors who were in the theater, uh, family members of victims. About There were about almost close to 120 seats inside the courtroom. Uh, half of it was news media. The other half was victims' families. There was also an overflow room for uh, family members that, that wanted to see the proceedings. They had a, a video camera set up that they could, they could uh, watch the proceedings through in the courtroom right next door to the one we were in. Uh, and many of them on the edge of their seats when he first, when James Holmes first walked in, uh, there were a couple people that stood out in particular. There was one person on that side who I haven't been able to identify who just sat forward in his chair and never stopped staring down James Holmes, never flinched throughout the 45 minute court proceeding. Then there was also one other, uh, one of the shooting victims who was there. She had a, a wound on her uh, left elbow and on her left lower leg, and she sat there kind of very, you know, she still had her hospital uh, wristbands on. Mm -hmm. And she was being comforted by a, what appeared to be her, her husband, kind of caressing her arm. So many people sitting there, sitting there watching, you know, calmly. It was, it was a very, very quiet, very methodical kind of hearing as the judge went over various uh, motions. But uh, you know, obviously, a, a great deal of emotion for those people who were sitting on that other side of the courtroom. Absolutely. All right. Uh, really, just astounding firsthand account from Ed. Uh, Ed